episode, I have the Cuban Stock Churchill. This is be one of the biggest Churchills I've ever seen. And these cigars, typically Cuban Stock, every time that I've had them, the last time I had one was probably three years ago now, just about close to three years, I'd say. Maybe two and a half. When I lived in Tampa was the last time I had one of these. I bought them in Brandon and and um, a few shops around Brandon, Florida at the time. The Cuban stock, they happen to have in Hudson, New Hampshire here too, it turns out. So I'm going to cut and I'm going to light it. Uh, I'm charging my phone so I can't really put it up. Uh, I'm going to need the huge torch, I think, for this one. So hold on one minute. this thing. I'm going to get a cut on here. Another one, snip it on the end. Oh, very loose straw, and I didn't even cut a whole lot off. I just cut a tiny, tiny end cap piece off. It is drawn, drawn very, uh, very smoothly. So far, it tastes of nothing. Pre-light draw tastes of nothing. A light apple cider or nothing taste. With hay, light hay and apple notes or something. Yeah. Smells of nothing, really. Light, light notes of barnyard and hay. The smell is very, very faint. That's surprising. Usually these cigars are pretty strong. I'm going to take the foot off. See, it has the big Churchill Maduro writing. I've been looking forward to this one. Cuban stock. Nice traditional look to it. Uh, so I'm going to cut cut it and I'm going to light it now. Mm. Very interesting. It's light and good. Mm, it smells good so far. Hmm. Okay. Fully lit. Very sweet right now. A little bit of bitterness, but overall sweet and nice. Great smoke output. Nice even draw. Six dollars and twenty-five cents for this big thing. Usually these go. They're reasonably priced for the quality of the cigar that these are. Typically, nice razor sharp, even burn so far. Very good. Very creamy, light, nutty, hay, maple taste. A little bit of a mapley taste here. With brown sugar, but also very creamy. Hay notes also. Very good. Beautiful. And I didn't even cut the whole thing off. You see, it looks like I didn't even cut the whole thing off, and it's drawing nicely. Retro hail has a beautiful flavor to it.
a little spicy, but not much. It's very mild tasted. Probably a very mild stat right now. This might be a mild to medium. It might simmer into a medium later. We'll see. But I'll come back and give an update at that time. Okay, I am about 25 minutes in now. And it is trying to even out. It's canoeing a bit, but the cigar flavor is great. It'll, it'll correct itself. It already is trying to correct itself now. So as we're talking, it's kind of corrected itself. Let's watch this for a minute. But the flavors are still sweet, niceness, creaminess. Look at that. It's already slicing through that. It's, it's corrected itself. Good. Look at that. Excellent performance. Look, I need I say any more. Need I say any more. And that even now. Wow. What do you know? I didn't even need to touch up with the lighter and it, and it did that. That was canoeing pretty damn far on one side and not on the other. And now that blew off that piece. Very nice sweet wood taste. Sweet wood taste. A little bit of black pepper. On the draw. Black pepper. Sweet wood. Brown sugar. The strength is up to a medium. Stella Cigar. Flavor-wise, great smooth cigar. Highly recommended. I enjoy it much. Cuban stock is a high-end brand for cheaper money. This is as good as some cigars, fifteen to twenty dollars. I'm pretty damn sure of it. And you get them at discount prices typically. Their house cigar one time was five dollars when I had it around Tampa. Didn't have a band on it. It was like a factory cigar. It was like a house cigar with no band on it. And there was a shop owner who said it was as good as the $100 Gurkha. So, this is a top end brand we're dealing with here. I'm a big fan of this underrated cigar brand. And I didn't think I'd ever find another one of these again. The closest you'll get to a Cuban cigar here in the United States, or one of them. Kind of like the, I don't know, maybe it's like on the level of a Bolivar or something in quality, I would say. A Bolivar non-Cuban, anyway. Nice black pepper, a mix of black and cayenne pepper out the retro hail. A lot of good flavors. It's, it's a basic flavor profile, but it's complex. It's going to be getting more complex, too, I think. Okay, about 45 minutes in or so, I still got a long way to go. A lot of smoke. Great price, great deal for this thing. I tasted some cherry chocolate combination in here. I tasted a little bit of cherry when the ash dropped the first time. There's a cherry flavor a little bit in it. I still taste the cherry slight with mushroom and earth. With a little milk chocolate coming in. A little earthy dirt, a creamy earthy dirt. <laughs> Retro has a comfortable spice to it. It's not overbearing at all. The black pepper or the red pepper, not overbearing at all in the Retro Hell. And some may even classify this as a full bodied cigar. It's a Cuban stock Maduro. 
but the strength is medium. It's not full. It could be full. The flavor profile, I think, is full, but the strength is medium at, at the very, at the very most right now. Yes, with smoke, I'll put nice, creamy. It's just an awesome cigar. Now review the rest of it a little bit. But it tastes like an earthy creaminess with some almond now, mushroom, cherry, brown sugar, little milk chocolate. So I'll leave it at that for now. About close to an hour, probably about 56 minutes to 57 minutes. Probably filmed the last video 11 minutes ago, but what I was tasting in this cigar was actually a pistachio ice cream taste. Also, it could have been cherry, it could have been almond, but I identified it now this far into the cigar also as a toasted pistachio ice cream flavor. But it was a regular pistachio ice cream flavor before and it could have been cherry, it could have been almond, but there was an earthy creaminess with mushrooms slightly. There was there was all these flavors in here. This is nothing short of a Stella cigar. This is a, one of the best cigars I've had. And if the TMO Revolution that I had was a little more moist, it would have been on par with this. That was real good too, but it was just dry. But real good. I thought this was going to be dry. I didn't think I moistened it enough because I put another wet pack in my uh, humidor box just yesterday. And that was exposed without a, a plastic wrapper on it. I thought it was going to get dry. I had that in there three weeks like that, or four weeks almost, without cellophane, just in there, without possibly without the proper temperature or moistness in there. But no. It's, it's lasted, it lasted through that. It tastes moist, like it's better than humid oil, like a good humid oil. It's, it did not get affected at all, really. And it's burning beautifully. The retrohale is a super creamy black pepper taste. With almond. Ash is hanging on to this bad boy. Look at that. A large Churchill, too. The ash holds on great. Performance is excellent. It's oily now in the mouthfeel. Feels a little bit chewy now. It smells up the room like an aromatic cigar does. Only it isn't sweet. It's sweet in the flavor, but there's no sweetness. It's not like an aromatic, literally, but the second hit smoke creates an environment where it is like, it smells like pistachio ice cream in the air right now. Toasted, of course, like it was on fire. But great smoke, and Cuban stock, again, does not let me down. Okay, I'm back. Right now I taste a licorice milk chocolate flavor. Cherry licorice and milk chocolate. With nice sweet creamy earth. Beautiful smoke. Brown sugar tape flavor is also on the draw. Primarily a chewy milk chocolate. Nothing harsh, just a great smoke. Even if this is full flavored or full bodied to some people, this is a compact, robust flavor profile, but it's not too, too strong and offensive. I would think a Churchill Maduro would pack some strength from this brand, but it doesn't. It's got a great flavor profile, but it isn't too strong. And the the peppery feel burns just a tiny bit, but a comfortable burn. It's not a harsh burn that goes through your nose. Nothing like that. It's a velvet type of body. It's a velvety smoke with velvety nice ash coming off. It's, it's a heavenly smoke.
Now it tastes a little milk chocolate marshmallow transitioning into a heavenly hash. So I tasted two flavor profiles in ice cream. I've tasted pistachio ice cream and now maybe heavenly hash ice cream. Wow, that's a great cigar. Shit. Oh man, I gotta pick up another one of these. Maybe another label, but I'll pick up a Cuban stock either way if I stop at that place. One of the best cigar names out there, especially for the price. I'll tell you that right now. Alright, I'm gonna wrap it up just about maybe do one more video. I'll remove the band or something and smoke the rest. I might come back and update. Bye. Pushing an hour and a half. Easy. It is burnt, so I'll leave. Excellent smoke up, but Saturday night, the 14th. Now it's about the 15th. It's about 1 16 in the morning. Finish it up here. I love the flavor profile of this. Getting a little more harsh toward the end, but still a bit creamy. Um, oh, it's a nice same creamy notes. Maybe a tiny bit of coconut flavor coming in. Chocolate, coconut. Maybe a little raisin. Uh, creamy earth. Earth and dirt. Uh, not really that bitter. It was bitter initially, but the bitterness tapered down. It was a real creamy cigar. Now I'm tasting a solid quality control flavor in here. It's a wonderful cigar. Wonderful. I just unevenly burned once and it corrected itself. Hey, pick it up if you see it. They, they might be hard to find though. I don't see these at every shop at all. I mean, it's a great, uh, great consistency, great smoke. Flaky toward the end though now. There's some pieces of blowing. But. I believe this is a long fill smoke. Excellent smoke output. Just a great cigar, dude. Now I taste a little bit of Brillo pad in here. A little bit of Brillo pad. The soapy Brillo pad. Retro Hill tastes more like Brillo pad now, also. Peppery with the black pepper. Oh, I've been taste and spice, maybe a little nutmeg, a little cinnamon, maybe, and a little mustiness. And a mixed nuts flavor now, also. Maybe a little of the cherry trying to come back out, also. Awesome cigar. Oh my god. Order some. You know, I think that's going to be it for the review tonight. We'll be at the Cuban stock, Maduro Churchill. Thank you for tuning in. Good night.